Hey folks, it's uh, Eugene Lisha here, and today I am going to show you how you can use the Intel D415 sensor in the .3D software on a Microsoft Surface tablet. Uh, that's actually what I'm recording from right now, but I also have the uh, dot .product scanner here, the uh, DPI-8X, and uh, you can see I've got something that's on screen here, and this one uses the um, Exion sensor. And so, uh, yeah, uh, using the new software for uh, that's come from Dot Product, which is called Dot 3D, um, you can plug in this sensor. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will we'll plug this into the Microsoft tablet, and you'll see how it works. I've actually just installed a piece of like um, strong Velcro on the back here, um, and it'll adhere to the back of the Surface tablet. And all you need to do is just plug this in into the USB, and you're good to go. So let's give that a whirl, and I'll. Uh, pop back on here once it's going. Okay, well, uh, I'm just outside here and I've got the uh, Surface tablet with the Dot 3D. Now this is a beta, so uh, this may change at some point in the future. And I've got the Intel D415 sensor adhered to the back of the Surface tablet with some Velcro. So I'm in the interface here, I'm just gonna hit new scan. And this goes pretty quick. Uh, once this fires up, it's connecting to the sensor. And this is what we have here. So like I said, it's a little dark outside. I'm just going to hit this button on the side here. And we are going to start scanning. So this will be pretty quick. Move around this way. And I'll try to fill this up as much as possible. Uh, fill in some empty spots here. Okay, there's a window. So that's not going to scan all that well. And I'll move over this side. And I'll back off a bit. Okay. Like that and I'll move across the top and almost done here I think I'm gonna call it quits here soon and I think that's good enough so I'm just gonna stop it with this button here hit that there now, I don't know if you noticed but there was a little camera icon there as well which means you can capture images along the way uh, but here I'll just uh, let this load here so that is the model there uh, pretty quick and not too bad. So now there's uh, a little optimize function here. I normally optimize just to clean it up a little bit. And there's some other functions on here. I'm not going to go through all that. I just really want to make sure that people uh, can understand that you can use a different sensor with the dot 3D product or the dot 3D software. And it's almost done. And there we go. So not too bad. I mean, not too shabby at all. Very quick, very fast. You know, this is not going to be high, high accuracy, but for uh, generating some drawings and sketches, for doing a host of other things, uh, this is pretty good. And there are options to increase the accuracy when you're using targets and things like that. So that's about it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just put them in the comments. Thanks.